Good evening. This is the agenda of the regular board meeting, President and Board of Trustees, Bella Traverdum, Cook County, Illinois. Today it's, uh, it's March the uh, 12th. Yes. At this time, we ask for the clerk to call the roll, please. Trustee Cap? Here. Trustee Hodges? Here. Trustee Garcia? Here. Trustee Greer? Trustee Richardson? Here. Trustee Claybrook? Here. Our motion passed, so we stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and Trustee Garcia. Welcome, United States of America, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. 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 No Stanley today. Mm -hmm. We said you were going to call it. Who's coming to you? Right. Okay. Thank you. Right, because you guys had a March one I missed. I'm apologize. I'm in front of the wrong agenda. You guys so much for asking. Continuously, we've already done the Pledge of Allegiance. Um, are there any approval or corrections of the minutes of the regular board meeting that was held on February 27th, uh, 2024? Any corrections to the minutes? Mm -hmm. There are no corrections to be made. I will ask for a motion to approve the minutes of January 27th, 2024. Make a motion to approve the minutes of February 27th, 2024. We have a second. I'll second. second by Trustee Hodges. We'll try to take the roll. Trustee Cap? Yes. Trustee Hodges? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Yes. I should have been here. Could I change mine? Sure. Change mine, please. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Claybrook? Yes. And a mayor? Yes, I will. Yes. The minutes approved for February 27, 2024. 2024. So before we open the meeting to the public, if you have anything to state to the board, if you will stand up and give us your name and your reason for addressing the board, then we'll be glad to hear from you. Um, and please uh, limit your comments to three minutes so we can move the meeting when we get off. Um, I will ask for a motion to open the meeting to the in public. Just, I motion to open the meeting to the public. Yeah, the motion was pulled by Trustee Hodges. We need a second to open the meeting to the public. Second. And second by Trustee Richardson. <laughs> we'll take your roll. Trustee Cap? Yes. Trustee Hodges? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Claybrook? Yes. Our right, motion pad meeting is now open to the public. Hello, my name is Jacqueline Cosby and I live 141st in Bensley. I had two cars. One was brand new. That one was messed up also with the kids on my block with the little motorcycles and the balls. Both of my cars got towed up. The second car was brand new. It was a 2019 and I had that fixed. And my girlfriend told me she lived in um, Calumet City. They don't allow kids on the, on the block playing. They either go in the backyard or in a park. I don't want my car messed up again. I can't keep affording that. But the ones that really messed up the car, they moved. They got put out. They lived directly across the street from me. Now the other kids is doing the same thing that they did. And I don't want my car messed up anymore. What are they doing? Are they throwing a ball? Is it a baseball? Or? No, they have motor scooters and, and, oh. and throwing footballs and stuff like that. And rocks and all of that. Oh. Uh, so, is this, um, so I would assume that this will be happening after school, right? Yes. After school and... And sometimes it's on a Saturday. Okay. It's also cool, but you have to pass that word around to to the police officer, including yourself, if you would let you okay. control through that as often as possible. Mm -hmm. 140 place in Bentley. Okay. Are there any other public comments? Yes, ma'am. Hi, how are you? Um, nice to see you. Um, okay, thank you. My name is Natalie Dillard, 
and this is Thelma, and we're from Dalton, okay. and but we're not here to talk about Dalton, nope. as everybody knows. <laughs> but what we're here for is to um, talk about Thornton Township. Um, there's 17 municipalities in Thornton Township, and um, we're in a deficit. And so we're planning a rally in South Holland next month, the date we, we're still um, determining. And um, we're asking for everyone's support in each municipality. I think you all are about the fifth one I've been to. And, um, and I see that in every municipality, there are different problems. And so, um, I'm just asking for everybody's support. We'll get back to you guys to let you know when it's going to be. That's it. Okay. Okay, well, thank you. Thank and, uh, you. Thank it's you. nice to have some judges. Thank you. Excuse me. Can I say something, Mayor? Yes, ma'am. Go ahead. We don't have no problems in the Well, that's what I understand. You said in every municipality, we don't have problems. We don't have problems. But with the, and, and in Lansing, they don't have problems. Right. But we've been to every, and we had support. support. We're just support. asking for support. That's all right. right. It's, it's right. not that you're, you're having a problem in your village. No. You're having a problem with the Thornton Township, yeah. and that does affect you. That affects you, okay. yes. Yeah. Because those are your towns. I understand what you're saying. I just want to make my point. Oh, oh yeah. you oh, know. No. And you're very proud of your right. of your. We township. just ran into a gentleman, and he was telling us how beautiful it is yes, out here. It is. And it was just so refreshing yes. to hear a resident say that. Wow. You know, yes. he didn't. He was lived in Dalton, Riverdale. He said, "I'm <laughs> at peace here. The yes. police don't we have all people so hanging yes. around like that." So it, it was so refreshing to hear that. Yes. Hey, we so appreciate that. Yes, yes. we want that. We're trying to keep it like that. So. Yes, yes. Please we want keep it like to be that. Safe and continue to be a productive community. Yes. Uh, sure. We have a full agenda this year, so we'll be moving ahead. Oh, yes. very good. Very good. good. I and hope you all know, the surplus. Are there any other public comments? And I'll ask for a motion to close the meeting to the public. I'd like to make a motion to close the meeting to the public. Okay, the motion is called by Trustee Richardson to close the meeting to the public. Can we have a second, please? Second. I'll second by Trustee Garcia. Trustee Capp? Yes. Trustee Hodges? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Claybrook? Yes. All right, motion passed. Thank you. Well, in the mayor's report, I just want to say, well, as we know, spring is right around the corner. So the people that are be raking up leaves, we ask you that you do not put the leaves in plastic bags because homework will not, will not pick them up. The leaves have to be in biodegradable bags. So once they put them in the landfill, if they will deteriorate much sooner and they will not pick up plastic bags. So please do not use plastic bags at all. Um, we did mention in our newsletter we're going to be having a gospel fest this year in the park mm -hmm. uh, as well as a, a jazz fest and we will announce that at a later time this spring we're going to have those. So at this time we will hear a report from Good evening everyone. Good evening. I do not have anything here. So thank you for the news. So at this time we are here um, uh, public education, health, safety, and welfare in the absence of uh, Trustee uh, Greer. Trustee Richardson takes the first item, yeah, item number one. Discussion of, consideration of, and taking action to approve or not approve the hiring of Darnell Felton as part-time Village of Vernon Police Officer. Okay. Uh, any discussion about that? And sometimes, and sometimes we don't always invite the police officer to the meeting because sometimes people tell us, oh, well, you know, I didn't see the police. I don't see the police. The police are watching them and they don't know it. So, okay, so that's another safety measure sometimes we, we do that. So we don't always invite them to the meeting. So. But we got criminal activity going on. We want to be able to see them whether they see us or not. So. 
Okay. Uh, so like, you make the motion on that. Right. So no, we need a no, second. Just, just, make it. Okay. I'd like to approve the hiring of Darnell Shelton as a part-time village of Burnham police officer. Okay, there's a motion on the floor by Trustee Richardson to hire Mr. Donnell Shelton as a part-time. Can I have a second, please? Oh, I have a question. We hired a police officer. Are they going to ask for a question, too? Well, a part-time, a part-time. I mean, a part-time. A part-time is an Agwell employee. All right, go ahead. Agwell. Okay. okay. So we need, we a, need second. a second. I second. Be second, okay. Do I take a roll? Trustee Cap? Yes. Trustee Hodges? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Claybrook? Yes. Okay. I believe you're on the committee, aren't you, to Trustee Hodges? Yeah. Okay. Would you take a second? The special consideration of and taking action approve or not approve the purchase of a new thermal imaging camera for the Burnham Fire Department not to exceed the amount of 31 uh, Three hundred, three thirty-one hundred dollars, due to the purchase price being twenty-two thousand nine hundred ninety-nine dollars. And Chief, uh, since you were here with the fire department, could you understand us and give us uh, a brief synopsis as to how this could benefit the fire department okay. and how it could be beneficial? Well, you, when a thermal imaging camera does it, detects heat and it goes hot or cold. When this is the newest thing, uh, there's actually criteria for it. But if you go to a fire a call and you don't see nothing fire could be hidden in the walls this will find it it also helps in aids and rescuing victims because you could you know the thermal machine could see a victim land in the smoke that you would normally not see or down firefighters also ours uh went out last week and or two weeks ago and we need a new one and uh our air packs do have them but this is a handheld where you could actually go in and see and detect fires okay so does the board have any questions well, again, this is an issue of public safety, so whatever it takes to uh, to help to assist the fire department in that effort, and that's saying what we want to do. So, uh, see, uh, you need a second, right? Yes, you have a motion. I'll second. Okay, there's a motion on the floor by Trustee Hodges and a second by Trustee Cap. Trustee Cap? Yes. Trustee Hodges? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Claypool? Yes. Uh, motion passed approved, so we'll get that done as soon as possible. In fact, did you order it already? You, you no, it? no. Okay. We're waiting for the approval. Okay. <laughs> well, you can order it if we don't approve it. <laughs> 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 uh, and if it's a safety item, something like that, you don't necessarily <laughs> but have to wait because we don't want someone that I mean, get burned up, but we can't find them and just call we didn't approve a better one hundred dollars uh, item. So can we use that money we got from the from Washington for that or no? That oh. your retention money would that come under that? What do you mean? What money you mean? The money you got from Robin Kelly. No, that was for the grant, right? Yeah. yeah oh, you mean the uh, the recruitment retention? No, that's no. not that's not a part of that. The recruitment and retention is for gear for the new no. firefighters and training for the new firefighters. That's what it's for. Okay, man. All right. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Public Works and Bill and Trustee Clay Brooks. Uh, good, good evening. evening. Good evening. Uh, Public Works was out today, uh, great in the alleys. We also um, had the street sweeper out yesterday. Um, we had, before we had it out, actually we had to get the, get the sweep, street sweeper fixed uh, get some welding parts. And uh, Wayne, did you want to expound on that a little bit or about the, the, the street sweeper getting fixed? Oh, we had to get it um, weld. The hopper kind of, from the water kind of, you know, deteriorated the hopper. So we had a welder come out and replace it. Replace some of it. And um, also we are, uh, just getting ready for the springtime, you know, uh, basic cleaning uh, around your uh, the residence, around your uh, garbage can and stuff like that. See so anything, but just pick it up. Also, um, I got another um, sheet from the American Public Works Association uh, recognizing public works as first responders. <coughs> and uh, I'm just going to read a few. It says, why recognize public works professionals as first responders? While police, fire, and EMS are often the three most recognized first responders, public works is also often silently there, 
providing vital support to emergency response partners, helping protect essential services and restoring those services following an emergency situation. And then uh, I'm gonna just read the first one. This is when it went into effect in 2003, President George W. Bush issued Presidential Policy Directive 8, PPD-8, officially recognizing public works as first responders. So they are, you know, very important to the village. That's all I have. Yeah, thank you, Trustee Claybrooks. And, uh, and also, in addition to that, speaking of cleaning, uh, we are asking, uh, and some people have taken the animals and, and their dogs and stuff out on the public ways and they're taking care of their business out in public. We're asking people to not to do that. I mean, that is very inconsiderate and uncouth. So we would ask the people not to do that. And we did put in a newsletter and we made a error in the newsletter for the way it was written as if we're going to get a citation for the dog and not the all of us. No biscuits for the dogs. <laughs> That actually came from me, so I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Do we have any of those little uh, doggy waste disposal things that we can put in the ground in some places? You know, the ones that go on a little post? Yeah, that they have. With little bags? Like the Forest Preserve and that? I, I, there I, might I, be a few places we could use them. Yeah. You know, maybe if the little bags are there, people might clean up after their dog. We'll go ahead and we'll come at the corner, baby. You know, like, what you think about that? Yeah. Do you think the kids stop pulling the bags out? Yeah, do you think the kids stop pulling the bags out throwing them on the car on the floor? What do you think? Yeah. Do you, think you, think you see them everywhere though. Like everywhere you see the little doggy. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely I'm a who would clean them up though? Who would have the little bag they just throw in the garbage and they clean so up? So you as the owner get the bag, like if you don't have one with you, right? And you just grab the bag to pick up after your dog, but but if they know they're taking their dog out, right? Like, you can't I agree. Bag yes, I agree. So so it's like like an owner own own responsibility. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. You know, it probably wouldn't hurt to look into buying one. They should take the bag with them. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. We might consider that. Just a little, you know. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So if we can proceed to the next item, I mean, or just a resolution and plan by Trustee Garcia. Good evening. Discussion on consideration of and taking action to approve or not approve resolution number 2024-R-001. 2024 CDP Capital Improvement Road Green Surfaces Green Bay Avenue from 141st Street to 140th Street, Mackinac Avenue from 141st Street to 141st Street, Mackinac Avenue from 141st Street to Green Bay Avenue, Community Development Black Grant. Yeah, this is a, uh, a CDBG grant that, uh, that we put in for every year from the county and and based on the uh, 2020 census that um, that the CDBG funds can no longer be used on the west side of Torrance. They can only be used on the east side of Torrance. And according to the census, it's based on the, uh, the, uh, uh, the income of the residents. So I don't know why they <coughs> make it. I make more than the people on the other side of Torrance, but, uh -huh. but that's basically what it's saying. So, um, so we have to go by what the census says and uh, so, I mean, the CDBG funds are generally uh, distressed funds, and they for poor, <coughs> poor communities or poor section of the community. So from this date until the next census, which is 2030, if it doesn't change, then all CDBG funds will have to be used on the east side of Torrance and not the west. Okay. Um, with, that, with that being said, so Trustee Garcia has made the motion. Does, it, does the board have any questions? That's why it's important to pull up the census when we do get the census, to be honest with those census. Because before it was, the, it was the other way around, right? Yeah, the previous census, right, we were over income. Well, yeah. And then, even if we're under yeah. income, or on this side, right? Oh, this is a jacket, I mean, that you, uh, that mean you make more money than me. Huh? That mean you have more than me, I don't know what I mean. <laughs> Okay, so that's the motion. Okay, you make a motion. Yeah, um, I have less than both of you. Yeah. Yeah. Motion, yeah, right. to, motion to approve resolution number 2024 R 001, 2024 CDBG Capital Improvement Roadway Resurfacing, Green Bay Avenue, 
from 141st Street to 140th Street, Mekina Avenue from 142nd Street to 141st Street, uh, Mekina Avenue from 141st Street to Green Bay Avenue. Okay, so Chelsea Garcia has made a motion to approve this CDBE project, and I'm going to ask for a second. A second. A second. A second by Trustee Hodges. Would you like to take the vote? Trustee Tapp? Yes. Trustee Hodges? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Clay? Yes. A motion passed. Thank you. And I'm an engineer. Yeah, so, Hiro. I mean, would you stand up and just explain to the board and to the public that we're going to be part of the CBDG this year and the Green Bay and Mackinac, and this will complete those two streets next year in its entirety? Yeah, that, that's correct. So this year, actually on Friday, we're going to be opening bids for um, the other two sections that he mentioned. Um, it'll be Green Bay from 143rd to 142nd and 142nd to 141st as well as Machina from 143rd to 142nd. So we're going to be opening the bids for that one on Friday. Uh, we'll award the project at the next board meeting. And um, and then construction is expected to start within about a month or so. Um, and it'll last about probably four to six weeks. Um, and then, like the mayor mentioned, uh, for next year, we'll apply for this year's application for CDBG we're applying for the rest of that section of town. Uh, if we do receive the funds, then we'll be able to complete um, all that resurfacing of that south east section of the town. So, yes. Okay, yeah. Thank you, Harold. Thank you. Are they going to close the street down for that? No, no. There'll be access, we'll uh, access. to residents. Okay. Yep. If, um, if a driveway <coughs> is uh, to be removed and replaced, they'll put uh, temporary aggregate. Okay. So the resident will have access to uh, to their home at all times. Um, the only time where they might not have access, it'll be when they pour the concrete um, driveways, but that would be uh, 24 hours, 48 hours at the most. Uh, and, and I don't think there are, I almost want to say there aren't any uh, concrete driveways out there. I think they're all HMA. Mm -hmm. And for that, they can, they can uh, drive right on a couple hours later. And the village would, um, and the village would put out a flyer to uh, give advance notification, as well as a contractor would put out a flyer also. Just make sure that I was get out first this time. So, <laughs> okay. Yes. So, um, so we'll do that. And um, and again, um, we um, we put in for grants all the time. Sometimes we don't get a grant. Sometimes we do. But this is the first time we have gotten this merch. And for this particular project we're doing this year, that's $150,000 for CDBG. In the past, the most we've ever gotten like 85 or 90. I mean, since I've been there, and next month, I've been there for 19 years, and that's the first time we got that merch. So mm -hmm. I think for, uh, for this particular project, I think we asked them for 300, I believe. Correct. Correct. Okay. So we'll see how much we get uh, next time for this project that we, that we approve it tonight. So. And again, we always work to um, um, get funds for all parts of the community and to work for the benefit of the people. And like I tell people all the time, if I tell you something, you got my word on it. That other section of Mackinac where we had those two water main breaks, has that been blacktop or filled in or does no. it still have stone? No, I drove down there to yeah. stone. It's stone. Still has stone. Yeah. Is that, are they going to get to that, Mayor? Does it? We may have to have that done separately because we will not be able to, we probably won't be able to do this on the bed unless they have a couple Doesn't of city plumbing do that as part of the water main or no? They just no. leave it they're just I mean they were gonna put in some cold patch or something, but but we probably have to have I mean we need to have something in there, I think. We yeah. can't just leave it stone. And well, one down about the pump station too, uh so the guy been complaining about uh that the the one over there, yeah. Yeah, one down there also. So We'll have that done. Um, and can I just mention one more thing? So we're going to be having a training program that's going to be starting, um, I think April 1st, I don't remember. So if you know anyone that's interested, it's a three-week training program. And once they're done, you know, send your grandson, your son, anyone that's interested in working in manufacturing, they'll get a, a forklift certificate, 
um, an OSHA 10 card. And we also will make sure, like, we'll give them guest cards to get to the class or a venture card. And once they're done with the class, they will also get a laptop. So wow. for, for three weeks worth of training, you know, you're going to get all this stuff. So if you know anyone, have them. The flyers are out there. It's also, I just saw it on the, um, on the TV set over there, too. Okay. Um, so the number's out there. Please call. Like I said, you know, if you have a grandson or just someone, you know, that wants to do something, send them to us. What's, what's the age? 18 and up. Okay. okay. And they don't even have to be high school graduates. You know, if you have a high school, someone that dropped out of high school, but they need to get some skills, we can also work with them. Thank you. Yeah, so again, we appreciate Trustee Garcia and the company. She works for, you know, age in the process of that. So we always want to try to do things for uh, kids and, uh, you know, try to keep their minds out of time. So thank you, Trustee Garcia. Um, Finance Trustee Cap. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Discussion of consideration of and taking action on authorizing the payment of this month's bills. I'd like to make a motion to approve the payment of this month's bills. A motion approved by Trustee Cap to approve the bills for this month. Could we have a second, please? Second. Second by Trustee Claybrook for the clerk take the roll. Trustee Cap? Yes. Trustee Hodges? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Claybrook? Yes. The motion passed. Do you have anything else, Trustee Cap? That's all. Thank you. Thank you, Trustee Cap. Love your utilities, Trustee Richardson. Good evening. Good evening. I don't have anything for utilities, but I want to read the fire, the Burnham Fire and Medical Report for the month of February 2024. There were 10 fire calls, eight of them were during the day, two during the night, and there were 74 ambulance calls. Mm -hmm. 49 during the day and 25 during the night. Hey, Poop, so what impact is that having on the board making those calls, right? All, all ambulance calls, EMS calls, we obviously we contract out the butts, they're, so they're automatically coming, and we're just support for them. Okay. So, um, do they charge extra for that, or how does that? Work? No, they charge the insurance to the, the patient. Yeah. And I know we did put something in effect. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. A lot of that was uh, a lot of that is uh, lift assist. We got a couple of people in town that you know are wheelchair bound, getting them from their car yeah. and back into their house. And, so. Okay. Thank you, Trustee Richardson. Thank you, Chief. Uh, Park and Recreation Trustee Hodges. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, Mayor was talking about uh, we're working on bringing some really cool stuff in Burn Up. Uh, we're working with Mayor and some Catman Memorial Park District. Um, one of the things we have come up with Easter egg hunts, I'm excited about it. It's March 30th, 2024, 12 o'clock. We moved up the time to the afternoon so people, you know, we have more time to get there. So it's at 12 o'clock. And also, we put it in the um, in the mail for with the game with the water bill. So we should have those flyers in there. So you know, I'll be a chicken program. That's on Saturday. Oh, oh, okay, yeah. Saturday at 12 o'clock. Oh, well, I don't have no people experience. do go to church on Saturday. The most mass is around 6 o'clock. Most in the math around six o'clock on Saturday, so we made it. So we made it there for each other. And um, and also you, we might want to come by and volunteer. So even if you have to come by and volunteer, but we need you to help us put down some of those eggs at twelve o'clock. And you come by eleven forty-five, help us put down some of those eggs. You want to bring the grandkids? Yeah, you guys are gonna buy it. Okay, oh, I was gonna ask. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Um, also, um, one cool thing, you know, I always like, like to keep um, the people informed. Um, Wilder Fields, it's, it's, you remember the old Target that was over there off of 100, yes. over there on East Road over there? So they turned that to Wilder Fields, which is a really great STEM space for kids and like adults. And I'm going to read it. Um, it's Wilder Fields transformed an empty Target store in Cadman City into a high tech vertical farm using our, uh, our intelligent, our artificial intelligence, HI. Astrophonics, machines, machine learning, and robotics to grow dozens of variety of grains. So it's basically it's like a farm, and it's like made from tech, and you can get to learn more about what's going on, and you can go in there. And the thing, cool thing is, it's by appointment, so you can give them a call at uh, 773-817-8069 for free. You can go in there and do like a little tour and bring your kids and get to know more about farming and technology at the same time how we're trying to go to the 21st century. That's over there at the old Target over there. But guess what? You learn about that, it's a South Land book. And so I want y'all to pick up y'all South Land books and y'all can learn what's going on 
the world was going on in South. It was really a lot of great stuff going on, and I, I do announce let people know what's going on these and what's going on. I want you guys to pick something up. We're gonna keep them up here. We got some in the front, and we got one more. We'll always have them. Also, Camel Mark Moore Park District. This is the the uh, spring book. They got the summer booklets we're working on. They should be out coming out in the next, uh, I believe, the next couple weeks. So this those should be at your house. Also, when they come here, we'll have them in the front. And you want to let me know so we got some summer stuff coming up um it's going to be a exciting uh year for burn also um one last thing we want to talk about the veterans memorial we're going to keep talking about we're trying to get the veterans memorial set up and we're doing the bricks so we got one side of bricks we if you know a veteran that you you want to honor personally uh, the hundred dollars per brick we have the the forms here you fill out the form and we have the information on who you need to pay to get $100 to get your brick. Also, if you have a, a memorial that you want to memorialize, a loved one that ne wasn't necessarily a veteran, but somebody you memorialize that has some connection to you who live in Burnham, you'll be able to memorialize them. And we're getting ready, we're trying to work on a building on the corner of the on Torrance. What's the exact address? 140th and Torrance. Yeah, and I want to thank the mayor and the trustees that we work together to get that done. For um for the village, so when you drive up there on Torrance, you see something that can, you can see your name on your loved one name, but a hundred dollars per brick and trying to fundraise. Also, we have a taco, a taco uh, fundraiser coming up. Um, what was the date for that? March twenty third. March twenty third. So you can come by at, at the community center, and you come by. You, how long is it going to be open? Yes, yeah. and uh, we're selling tickets in advance. In advance is ten dollars. You'll get a few tacos, I think, and some beans and rice. Beans and rice. Now, it's a fundraiser, so we yeah. got to make sure we get enough for everybody. We're raising funds for a good thing so we can build an island memorial and burn them. Something that we can look and look beautiful. I'm telling you, it's going to come together. We got the we're with the Ritterings, and we meeting about it this week. It's going to be beautiful. So, you want to be a part of it, let us know. We have some of the brochures out front, and uh, we'll give you more information about that. I believe the mirror is in the newsletter, too. In the water bill he sent out, so we try to run it together to burn out <coughs> some beautiful stuff. So either way, we'll give you we'll give you more information about that. Uh, I'll let you guys know. And that is my report for tonight. Thank you, Miss. Uh, thank you, Trustee yeah. Hudson. Now you do not have to live in front of the person that you most name on that does not have to live in front of you. Pay a hundred dollars. You want to honor your uncle, someone special, whoever it is. Pay your hundred dollars. Then you fill out the of the form and you can have whatever you want to put on your brick for the hundred dollars. All right, thank you. Um the other thing is uh the other thing is uh presentation of petition, communication and and, uh, <coughs> and then memorials I would ask for moments of silence for Mr. Jerry um Jerry Jerry um not Jerry um, Jerry Jerry thank you uh, to pass away from Yates and uh have the service on, on Sunday. Actually, it was yesterday. The funeral with you and the funeral. Okay, thank you. Um, then unfinished business. Do we have any new business? Well, before we go, um, I mean, right now we're going into executive session. And for those of you who have not been here before, there are certain things that uh, deal with employers, employment, uh, termination issues, uh, I mean, uh, 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 discipline, whatever it is, things of that nature. We yeah. cannot discuss in public. We have to go into executive session in the back here. Um, we, we will be back out here. And so if you hear when we come back, and we'll see you. Then if not, we'll see you the next time. Yeah. For this time, I will ask for a motion to go into executive session. Mm -hmm. Motion to go into executive session. There's a motion before we trust you guys here to go into executive session. Second. Second by the trustee. Trustee Richmond, will the call you take the roll? Trustee Kapp? Yes. Trustee Hodges? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Claver? Yes. Uh, yeah, a motion passed. We have to go into executive session now.